welcome back to my youtube channel so i can't believe this is the last video of 2020 the year has been really weird for all of us i don't want to talk about it too much but um yes let's hope and pray that 2021 will be a much better year where we can travel see our families again and um yes i really hope that excuse again my almost no makeup face i have such irritated eyes so i don't want to put anything near my eyes at the moment but i still applied a little bit on my face but um, yesterday's video is going to be a anxious video. I thought um, let's share the things that I finished this year. And of course, this is not everything from uh, 2020. This is from the last couple of months. Mostly beauty related products and also some other things. So um, yes, I have a bunch of things to show you. So let's get started with the video. And of course, if you are new here on my channel, I'm a Dutch girl and I'm living in Marmaris, Turkey. And I make a lot of beauty related videos lifestyle fashion vlogs if you like that make sure you subscribe and of course you can also follow me on instagram and now let's get started with the video so i'm going to start off with some beauty related things so the first thing that i finished are these cotton pads and these are squared cotton pants from the brand benny and ben Benri, I have to say not Benny, Benri. And this is a brand that gratis sells here in Turkey. And I really like them. They're quite big. As you can see of the packaging, they are not like the normal round ones, but they are in a square shape and quite big. So I really like that. I find it really easy to remove my makeup and also to remove like my nail polish and all of that. And um, yes, I really like these uh, cotton pads. So that's the first thing. Then also I finished from Sleepy the uh, wet wipes. And these are alcohol free and para paraben free. And to be honest, I don't use a lot of wet wipes. I usually use like these um, cotton pads with a makeup remover. I find that a bit easier. But if I'm in a rush and I just want to go to bed, then I reach for these ones. And yes, they are really nice for if you want to remove your makeup fast. So I finished uh, those as well. Then a conditioner that I really love. And this is from Tof. And this is a conditioner with avocado. So this conditioner, I have to say, I really love. I have now another one from L'Oreal that I try. But I have to say, this is probably the best conditioner I've tried. It is super soft and the smell is really nice. It's not too strong. It has like a really nice light scent. And I also tried the coconut one from this one. And I just have to say that the Dove conditioners are one of the best. My hair feels all time really soft after I used it. And um, yes, I'm going to definitely repurchase this one again after I finish that one. Because I just come always back to Dove um, hair products. I just find them really good. So definitely a really nice conditioner. And if you're looking for one, um, yes, look to the Dove ones. They have a lot of different scents. So I'm sure you find one that you like. So then I cleared out my nail polishes and a few were empty and a few were just not good anymore. You can really tell if they are not good anymore. So I had a clear out. So I will just show you the ones I use up. So the first one is a pink one. This is one of my favorite um, pink shades for sure. It is from Flormar and it's the jelly look. And this is in the color Milky Pinky. I have to say this nail polish gives you really a um, gel polish effect and this color is really nice I like to combine this also with like a, a little bit of glitter or something like that and uh, Flormar nail polishes I really like and especially the jelly look ones so um, yes I haven't bought a new one yet but definitely a beautiful shade then another one from Flormar that is all um, used up and this is a white shade and it's called Snow White. So this is just a really simple white shade, a really beautiful one. You only need like two coats and it's all white. And um, yes, I really like white nails. And again, floor my nail polishes are always great. Then a few nail polishes that are just not good anymore. Um, this one is from Sally Hansen. It's a little bit more on the pricey side. And this is a beautiful red shade. But I wanted to do my nails the other day. And I'm not sure how you call it. Like the applicator or brush that you apply it with. 
was all messed up so I can't use it anymore but um, this is in the color let me see this is in the color uh, 440 and it's a really beautiful dark red I have this nail polish for quite a while I'm not a bit mad about it that I can't use it anymore but yeah a really beautiful color and the Sally Hansen ones are just really luxurious and the colors are really beautiful but um, yes, I unfortunately, I can't use it anymore. Then a nail polish from Wet and Wild. And again, this is just not good anymore. And it's a really nice uh, pink shade, really interesting one. And it's called um, Tickled Pink. Really nice shade. And yeah, I haven't tried a lot of nail polishes from Wet and Wild. This is the only one. But yes, I quite like it. And then the last nail polish is from Rimmel. And again, this one I have for quite a while. So again, I can't use it anymore. And this is the color uh, Caramel Cupcake. And this is a really nice nude. And I use this one a lot. And the Rimmel nail polishes are really nice. They dry also for, uh, very quickly. So uh, yeah, I really like it. Now I will show you the makeup products that I all used up. And the first thing is my uh, foundation. And this is one of my favorite foundations and it's the Fit Me from Maybelline. And this is in the color 110. This foundation has a really beautiful color. It's not too yellow toned and not too pink toned. And for me, that's perfect. It is also white enough for me in the winter because as you can see, I'm super pale. And this one is um, yeah, really great. I would say it's a medium coverage, not really full, but you can definitely build it up. And um, yes, the Maybelline um, foundations I always find really nice and the concealers as well. I tried a lot uh, in the past, uh, definitely one of my favorite foundations. Then also a concealer from Maybelline that I all finished up as you can see. And it's the Instant and the Age Erase Concealer. I used it this morning for the last time and again one of my favorite concealers together with Catrice and uh, I now go try one from Revolution so I will let you guys know how I like that one but um, yes beautiful color it's in the color uh, zero ivory and again if you are pale like me this is actually white enough as you can see to brighten up your face and I like the consistency, it blends really easily, it doesn't crease a lot. So if you're looking for a new concealer, and I know a lot of people uh, love this one. So um, yes, go check it out. Then I finished also my mascara and this is from Yves Rocher and it's the Sexy Pulp Mascara. This is actually a really nice mascara. Um, it gives my lashes quite a lot of volume. And um, yes, it doesn't do something like crazy, but I really like it. It's just a perfect uh, mascara for every day. And I haven't tried other mascaras from Yves Rocher, but yes, this one is really nice. Then another concealer that I have for a while, it's just not good anymore. I saw it and the consistency looks terrible. So I just have to throw it away. But um, it is from Catrice and it's the Camouflage Cream and it's in the color uh, 010 Ivory. This concealer is really good to cover up spots or if you want to cover up like a scar or sometimes I have quite a lot of blue tones under my eyes. Then this is absolutely great. It gives a lot of coverage. So I really like this one as well. And then the last thing that I want to show you is this softener. And I know it's not a beauty product, but I absolutely love this. So I thought I'd show you it. It's from Bingo and it's a softener. And um, uh, it's called Lovely. And I believe uh, Bingo is a Turkish brand. I'm not really sure, but this just smells amazing. It smells like really flowery and like roses. So I really like this one. So if you live in Turkey and you're looking for a new softener, try out this one. So these were all the things that I finished for the end of 2020. Um, I really hope you guys have an amazing New Year's Eve and I really wish that next year will be a better year for all of us and I all hope you stay healthy and safe and I just wanted to say that I really appreciate your support every time you watch one of my videos or like or comment I really really appreciate that so thank you so much and um, I hope to see you guys in the new year and thank you so much for watching again bye